A waterfall chart is a great way to show a metric over several time periods, and it also demonstrates how specifically the metric is changing over time as it breaks down any adjustments in between the periods into positive and negative bars, so one can see exactly what is driving changes in the metric as it's going from one period, for example here the start, to the middle period, and then to the end period. Let's walk through how to build a waterfall chart, which is also known as a bridge chart, by using Maccabacus Quick Charts. Okay, now starting over on a blank worksheet, we're going to go up into Charts, then under Quick Charts, we'll see the waterfall chart here. It's the very first chart. Go ahead and select that option, and this wonderful dialog box comes up, and right here at the top is where one selects their range of data. It does have to include two columns in the selection, with the first column containing the x-axis labels and the second containing the chart data. Let's press Example, though, to export some sample data that we can feed into our chart, and we'll leave Preserve Formulas ticked off here just to avoid excessive linking for when the chart is actually created. We can see in the bottom left corner there that a new sheet was inserted for the sample data, and Macabacus will actually insert another sheet when we go ahead and create this chart when we eventually press the OK button here. One does have other options to go through though, and one really nice thing about Macabacus though is that it will remember your last saved settings, so you can go ahead and set these and forget these. So we can see here we can set our chart size. One can always adjust that later though just by using the adjusters, so we typically don't worry about that too much, but it is really nice to be able to set a chart right at the get-go at any of your standard sizes. Next, we can set our label positions. We do have some different options. Let's go with above and below though, which will set positive adjustments. Their label will be at the top of the bar and negatives will be at the bottom. One can of course set their colors of the various bars, the base representing the metric at any one of the given periods, increase being a positive adjustment and decrease being a negative adjustment and one can set their gap width and also show bridge lines. We usually opt to leave this option off, but we will show you what those look like in a little bit. Let's go ahead and press OK and create the chart. And Macabacus has now exported our waterfall chart on a new tab. Macabacus does that just so that we're not interrupting any financial modeling that has already been completed. We're now gonna do a little bit of light formatting and also bring this waterfall chart over to the model tab. We just used control page down on our keyboards to navigate over here. We're going to use the native Excel cut and paste functionality to bring the waterfall chart over here on the model tab, do a little bit of cleanup of the data, and we'll see you in the next video where we'll work on formatting this chart. There's only a little bit of more formatting required, and we'll also explain how those little check boxes you saw for the chart options work. See you soon. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.